What's up, ticket holders? It's time for some death battle reactions coming right up. Death battle, Mewtwo versus Shadow from Sonic the Hedgehog. So basically, I'm gonna break this down for you guys. If you guys don't wanna see me watch the descriptions and all their abilities and what they're gonna bring to the battle, just click, I'll put a, I'll put a link up, uh, up uh, Fuck. I'll put a link above me so you guys can uh, you know go straight to the battle and then you can watch me react to the battle but let's take a look at this right now shadow versus Mewtwo death battle with death battle our combatants are always extraordinary in one way or that was another. a freaking a superhero or ridiculous a but these two are literally built to show up the rest of their kind Mewtwo, the genetically engineered Pokemon, and Shadow the Hedgehog, the ultimate life form. He's with a boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, <laughs> and skills to find out who would win. Mewtwo used to be battle. so epic, dude. Years ago, a brilliant scientist named Dr. Fuji was working to create a brand new life form which would change the world. That's great and all, but he had something else in mind. Fuji hoped his experiments would help him discover a way to resurrect the person he cherished most, his deceased daughter, Amber. With unlimited resources funded by mob money, he figured out how to clone his daughter's ball of consciousness. Because science! But before he could finish, he had to create the most powerful Pokemon, a clone of the legendary Mew. And he named him... Mewtwo. So Mewtwo is based yeah, off of Yeah, Fuji wasn't very creative when it comes to naming, but when you can create a new life form with nothing but a fossilized eyelash, you know you're a master of genetic engineering. A field I'd love to get more experience in myself. Don't do a thousand times, Wiz. You're not gonna alter my DNA. Uh, <laughs> what, what, what are you talking about? I would never do that. <laughs> Always watching, Wiz. Always. Growing up in a test tube, Mewtwo's only companions were Fuji's other test subjects, including Amber herself, through some sort of psychic link. Amber taught Mewtwo about the sun, the moon, tears, and, you know, life stuff. Oh, and also death when she died for good right in front of him. <laughs> this may be too mentally traumatic for the still infant Mewtwo. No. Dr. Fuji's team erased all memory of her. Unfortunately, this left Mewtwo with a feeling of loss and confusion, and no memories to explain why. With nothing else to do, Mewtwo decided to take out all his aggression on all of humanity. Then he turned some stupid kid into stone, a bunch of Pokemon cried, and Mewtwo figured out humans aren't so bad after all. Mewtwo is one of the most powerful Got right to the point. Pokemon, defeating its foes with the power of its mind. Hey, wait a minute, you keep calling him it. Is Mewtwo a guy or a girl? Well, neither. Technically, it's genderless. Oh. Yeah, you can't read that. <laughs> Put that nigga with a sure. ditto, it's a ditto, a ditto. <laughs> of ghost energy that blow holes in stadium, and an onslaught of undodgeable stars, multiple types of defensive shields, and a healing ability for when those shields don't quite cut it. Alongside its other abilities, Mewtwo's favorite move is Psychic, a powerful form of telekinesis. With it, Mewtwo can effortlessly send enemies as heavy as a 500-pound onyx. And needs it three times, baby. And needs it three times. Like a zoom out off on everybody. Also, it can augment its melee combat with psychic energy or occasionally a massive spoon. Would you say he sometimes spoons his enemies? No, nothing about Mewtwo is cuddly. Especially when it uses hyper I wonder if you cut that thing in the back of his neck when he dies. So strong that you the and they just fall back. <laughs> in a single hit. And when trouble comes a knocking, Mewtwo enters the door with a badass mega evolution. Mewtwo is mm -hmm. one of the few Pokemon capable of mega evolving without the assistance of a trainer. As Mega Mewtwo Y, it gains enormous boosts in strength, defense, and speed. That one was a fighting type, I think. Fly into space or was it dark and exciting? Fast enough to breach escape velocity over 25,000 miles per hour, over 32 times the speed of sound. So, really, really fast. Mewtwo is so skilled in his psychic prowess, it can wipe specific memories from dozens of people at once. On top of all that, it can survive a massive amount of okay. Like the time it got double impaled by an alien Pokemon's tentacles. Didn't they censor that? It effortlessly defeated most of the Pokemon Champions team, including a legendary Articuno. 
Weak. Flame throw that for me. Who wants fried chicken? <laughs> Oh, I never got that. That was dumb. Pen missile destroy psychic. That's stupid. I was created, and my creators have used and betrayed me. So I stand. I remember this man. That shit was epic right here, dude. That was an epic scene. That's crazy. Mewtwo! Oh snap! <laughs> Years ago, a brilliant scientist named Professor Gerald Robotnik, the grandfather of Sonic's forever balding nemesis, worked to create a new life form which would change the world. It was called Project Shadow, a covert government operation to discover the secret to immortality. Besides, you know, like diet and exercise. <laughs> 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 Professor Gerald's Come on, case guys. specifically for his granddaughter Maria, who was dying as a result of neuroimmune deficiency syndrome. Now that I think about it, Project Shadow is a pretty scary name for a program that's all about curing diseases and saving humanity. Maybe it has something to do with the program's secret pact with a hive mind alien race called the Black Arms. Perhaps. Mm. Okay. So what do you get when you take immortality, the cure of all diseases, aliens, and put them all together to make the <laughs> ultimate Powerful life form? Girls. <laughs> you get a hedgehog. Shadow the Hedgehog was the first step toward a perfect future. And during his time in Gerald's space laboratory, Shadow and Maria grew very close. Until they were separated by a bullet. Turns out the governments of the world were too fond of all the evil alien business, so they stormed the place, captured Shadow, and killed Maria right in front of him. <laughs> Fifty years later, Shadow escaped and decided to take his revenge by just killing everyone. Until he remembered Maria's last words were pretty much, don't be a dick, so he changed his mind. Now on the side of good, Shadow dedicated himself to protecting the world from the forces of evil. Turns out fighting the bad guys isn't too hard when you've got super strength, super speed, helped along by some awesome rocket shoes, and a bucket of deadly chaos powers. By channeling the potentially unlimited power of the Chaos Emeralds, Shadow can enhance physical attacks, heal over time, and strike with powerful energy blasts. And with the power of Chaos Control, he can warp through space and distort time, slowing it down to a crawl, or with enough power, freezing it completely. He's got so much power, he can only contain it all with two inhibitor rings around his wrists. Unless he gets all seven Chaos Emeralds, which he can use to transform into a Super Saiyan Shadow. Super Shadow, yeah. As Super Shadow, he is completely invulnerable, <laughs> can move at the speed of light, and has unlimited access to the power of the Chaos Emeralds. Enough power to stop the space colony arc's collision with Earth, and to teleport a giant comet the size of a city. Assuming this rock is half hollow and using the density of concrete as minimum base, this black comet must weigh at least 915 million tons. Even without his super form, Shadow is powerful enough to wipe out an entire alien fleet in one blast. Fast enough to reach hypersonic I don't know how to get these calculations. And strong Dude. enough to play tug of war with a giant space monster who is so big he uses a planet a tenth the size of our moon as a chair. Naturally, when you've got this much power, you're probably a cocky dick. Yes, Shadow is excessively overconfident in his abilities. Also, he has a terrible memory. This guy has spent most of his life wondering who the hell he is. And even when he does remember, he usually winds up losing his memories later anyway. To be fair, if I fell from outer space and all I lost were my memories, I'd consider it a really good day. I mean, I lose them from just falling over at the bar. That's probably <laughs> <because of> the <laughs> Also, we can't forget that uh, the Super that? Shadow form only lasts so long. Then again, when you move at light speed and have control over space and time, who cares about time limits? Not usually a problem for the ultimate life form. Many years ago, Professor Gerald Robotnik endowed me with the power of chaos control. A normal creature like yourself doesn't stand a chance against me. Alright. Whew! Usually I would do a vote with my boy, but... I'm by myself, so I'm just going to tell you guys who I'm going with. 
Uh, I'll just tell you who I'm going with, and then I'll tell you why I went with them after the battle. So that way you gotta, you know. I'm gonna go with Mewtwo. That's what I'm going with, Mewtwo. So let's take a look at this battle, see what's up. Hopefully it's hype. Cause I still think it's a stupid battle overall, Shadow versus Mewtwo. I'm like, yeah, bruh, yeah. Who, who's this? Yeah. All right. It's still stupid to me, but you know what I mean? It's like, I'll watch it, you know, get my, my, my little two cents in that. But let's take a look at this battle. Let's give me something good. Here we go. Death battle. All right, the combatants are set. Let's end this debate once and for all. I don't know it's who even Jennifer had the damn debate in the first place. First place it makes no sense. All right, two D. Okay. Go. You are not welcome here. Leave this place. What's your problem, Freak? I know not its name. Oh, this looks but bad. <laughs> red <laughs> and very annoying. Oh, mega pixel. Let's go. What you know about that? Yeah. That barrier. Teleportation. Teleportation. Okay. This will stop you. Another gem? What's he doing? Chaos. I thought he was my man. No. <laughs> no. Control. Might be game. Ha ha ha! Good try, monster, but you're done! Two. What? Chaos! Not this time. The fuck? Maria! Wait, where am I? Oh my god, I'm glowing! Why am I glowing? <laughs> oh my god. Sayonara. That's stupid, but it's funny though. Oh my god, why am I going? <laughs> what the fuck, man? I swear. Don't think we ever expected to see someone die by spoon. Yeah. Shadow may have had the advantage in pure speed and power, but this time, Rain defeated Ron. Mewtwo got the rundown on all Shadow's abilities simply by reading his mind, giving it the knowledge it needed to counter or avoid crazy powers like Chaos Control. Ultimately, there was nothing really stopping Mewtwo from just taking over Shadow's mind, and its impressive durability and healing power bought it enough time to do so. Pretty hard to win a fight when your opponent can make you forget what you're doing and who Oh my god, why am I going? Shadow has been mind control before, and has always relied on outside help to recover. Even while Super Shadow was physically invulnerable, this form didn't protect his mind. Like that time he fell from space, and then the worst game ever happened. Yeah, Shadow was gonna lose. Sooner or later, the winner oh is Oh my god. Mewtwo. Oh my god, why am I going? That was funny. <laughs> so Next funny. time on Death <laughs> right. There you go. Master Chi? Hey. Yeah. You wonder who would have a fight between Carolina and Meta? Oh man, it's gonna be a first time no, team up. Only hold us nerds on the internet care about that kind of crap. Uh, yeah. Why do you think I'm asking you? Just picture it. He's totally badass. 
Hey guys, I'm Chad at Blizzard Music Connect from Banner Play Wiz, and next time on Death Battle, we've got something very special planned, so stay tuned, we'll be announcing it shortly. Oh, I'm so excited. In the meantime, you guys okay. can watch it. Alright, alright. <clears throat> alright. I chose Mewtwo for the simple fact that he can Mega, mega Evolve. I knew after the Chaos Emerald, we already saw Shadow get served up by Vegeta. Because once the Chaos Emerald depreciate, uh, 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 oh, freak, nigga. Oh my god. Mewtwo uses power on my brain. <laughs> I just went brain dead. Oh my gosh. Once this Chaos Emerald, uh, Emerald power goes away, I already knew that, you know, Mewtwo's gonna make up all for him, gonna be staying that for him, gonna be able to kill him. Straight up. By the information they gave me. Overall, honestly, I would have went, if it wasn't for the death battle and all the calculations, I would have went with Shadow. More, he's faster than Mewtwo. He's a dark. Uh, they, they didn't throw none of that in equations. Like, his name is Shadow. He's dark. This nigga's weak against dark. I mean, he needs to die. I mean, I, I hit you with a... <laughs> cuts right through your arm, Mewtwo. You're dead. There's no coming back from that. That's how I look at it. But I, this is a death battle. They want to be different and difficult and all that shit like that. Bullshit. But that's how I would have went about it. Um, but you know, I want to win, so you know, death battle. I went with Mewtwo on this one, and he came through, hit that fool with a spoon. That was funny. I'm still thinking about it. Oh my god, why am I gold? That was funny, like straight wiped his memory, man. He didn't know what the hell is gonna go down. All right, so, <laughs> um, man, lately though, these death battles have been kind of soggy, and there's no disrespect to the team, but. Like, I want to see some some tightness, man. Like, we're seeing bogus victories, bogus matches. Like, this shit don't really make sense. Like, no one's debating if Mewtwo can beat Shadow. Like, I've never heard that debate in my life. Like, who you think will win, Joker or Sweet Tooth? Like, ain't nobody talking about shit like that. Digimon and, and Pokemon? Yeah, talk about that kind of stuff. That stuff we talk about. Green Arrow, Hawkeye, we talk about this stuff. Batman, Captain America. We talk about this. This Halo one, I, I'm not sure who they're going to go against. Is it a double team? That'd be great. But they're soldiers, so, I mean, are they going to go against Captain America and Bucky? Now, I would like to see that. Hmm. Hmm. Free. Let's move this up. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, I would love to see that. Bucky and Captain America versus the Halo soldiers. I think that'd be the Spartans. I think that'd be tight to see that go down. Ugh, it's on my eye. So that's why I'm, I'm I'm believing they're gonna end up going against. It's probably Bucky and Captain America. Captain America's tight right now, or maybe War Machine and Iron Man. Damn, I'm on a roll. This is good shit. This is good team ups. Um, who else can they go against? Uh, uh, freak. I'm on a roll. Fox and Falco. Hmm. Mario, Luigi. Hmm. I, I see some duels. I see some tag teams. Yeah, if this is a tag team, I would love to see that duel. Overall, though, I would like to see Captain America and Bucky versus the Spartans. Or, because you got Super Soldier versus Super Soldier, which I, I can see that working. Or Iron Man and War Machine versus... Now, those are good battles. Because that's something you have to really listen to. the Like, the description base and what their power sets are. Don't give me bullshit. I know you need some fillers. But if y'all need fillers, talk to me, J3 Entertainment. Share these videos. Let them know. The real is out there. I watch this shit and I love it. I love it. But sometimes this stuff be bogus, man. I'll be like, man, freak that. Like, we need to get, we need to get some. I need some more epicness, man. Like the Goku versus versus uh, Superman. That was epic. You know what I mean? But you know, like, I, uh, I, I need something, man. Like, give me a Solomon Grundy versus Hulk. Like, you know, give me something. You know what I mean? We got, we gotta get back into it. You know what I'm saying? We gotta get more in this. Like, that people ain't hyped for it like we used to. All right, hope you guys enjoyed my reaction. I try to keep this stuff as real as possible for you guys because I'm a real dude. Like, really, like, look, pinch my scam. I'm fucking real. I'm dope. All right, this is J3 Entertainment. Like this video, share this video. This is the real deal, and that's for real always. Uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoy. Peace, love.